In this video, I'm going to build a circuit that is related to a relay. Nine years ago, I posted a video that is entitled Latching Relay Circuit. I will put the link of that video down below and actually that circuit is this. In this video, I will build this actual circuit and show you how it performs in real circuit. Instead of calling this a latching relay circuit, I will call it as a latching relay state when triggered with reset. So, so it works like this is the trigger and when you press that button, the LED will turn on and even if you remove your your activation on this button it will stay on forever unless you remove the power that's why i called it with reset i hope this circuit can help you in many applications you can change this button to a different activation component like a limit switch a pir sensor as long as it has a, a contact output just like a switch. This will save you few components because you can create that logic without a need of microcontroller or an Arduino. Let's now go to our components. I put the components in such a way that you can resemble the positions. Like this one is that power switch. This is the button. This is the diode. This is the relay. LED and resistor. I will start connecting this diode, this relay on this diode. First thing is we need to find out where is the coil of this relay. You can check the data sheet or if you don't want to check it, well, you guess you can have a good guess where it can be. What I do is I get a power source and try the edges the corners and if it ticks like this it means that is the coil if you put it on this side no ticking so that's not the coil just remember to limit the current of your power supply so that it it won't short anything in a high current i'm now done soldering the diode on the coil the coil has no polarity, but once you put the diode, you, you must consider that this polarity must be followed. Else, the 5 volts will go directly to ground. Also, the relay is rated as 5 volts DC. That's why you also have here 5 volts in the supply. Let's move forward. The next one I put is the trigger. As you see, the negative of the diode is connected there, just like in this. The negative of the cathode is connected on one side of the trigger push button. Next on my connection is this connection, which represents this node going here. As you see, I put some highlight on the lines that we are already finished, so you can follow along. Let's proceed. I need to find out where is the normally open on this relay. This is normally closed. As you see, it's connected there, here. That's normally closed. And this one is the normally open. I will need to use a multimeter and continuity mode so I can see where it is. So let's see. Let's check here in this relay. We'll put it here, then here. It means this is the normally closed and this is the normally open. This pin represents this one so i can connect here the switch and the trigger the trigger now i'm done doing this connection switch good now i'm done on the load which is this one this one and what we're missing now is the five volts and the ground so when we add that our circuit should now start working in this circuit, this should be the 5 volts and the ground should be this. 
So, what I do usually, if I need to hook voltage there, I will just put a solder here. Then I will cut, oops, I will put a solder there. Then I will cut it here. That will be for the positive. And then I can put another one here for the negative. This one. It's good. Then this will be for the negative. And then we will hook our power supply and see how it can, how will this circuit work. The power supply is now hooked, which is 5 volts. And now let's see how this circuit will behave. This should be the trigger. Let's press it. Whoops, nothing happened because our switch here is not yet turned on. Good. Now, it should be activated and latch. See? It's activated. Let's reset it. Activate again. Power on. Then activate. It's on. Cool. Let's make it more fun by adding another load, which is a buzzer. Let's switch this on. And then let's pull the trigger. That one's loud. Let's try it again. Turn on. Pull the trigger. Then let's do reset. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. And if you like it, Please don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.